That's a live picture looking over downtown Sacramento. Now look at those clouds on the back of the horizon there. Do you guys see what I see in those clouds? I see an elephant. Uh, it's uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. A snake. Bethany, what are you like seeing a, there? It does look a little bit like a, a slithering serpent. Well, this is a good theme because I really don't see anything. And uh, <laughs> oftentimes, though, you do. You see things in clouds or you see things in the sky. And what happens when you see something with an extremely high-powered telescope that's about 800 light years away and it looks unmistakable to you? You, you name it that thing. You name it that like, thing. Uh, well, yes. <laughs> and you do a weird science yeah. on it. So take a look at this, see what you see at first, and then we'll tell you. These are always fun games to play at the psychiatrist office. So tell me, what do you see in this image? Well, first of all, from a science standpoint, you're really just looking at a nebula. It's a huge cloud of interstellar dust and gas. But here's a hint. This one is affectionately called the Witch's Head Nebula. Do you see it? How creepy is that? Look at the crooked nose, that beady, deep-set eyeball, the gaping mouth, and that protruding chin. It's weird, and it's beautiful, all at the same time. At 50 light years across, this is the biggest Halloween decoration in the universe. But there's a lot more going on here than just scaring the kids. Take a look at her chin. You see those red dots down there? Those dots are actually new stars in the process of formation, and it's nebulous like this one where most stars get their beginning. Think of this as a star nursery. And she's not the only one that looks weird, by the way. Have you ever seen the Horsehead Nebula? Take a closer look. Okay, just a little closer now. You may need a little more imagination for this one, but not much. There's also the Eskimo Nebula. Science actually has a name for this kind of illusion. It's called a paraidolia. That's what you call it when the human brain recognizes shapes in hidden random things. But really, how hidden is it if you can find it on the back of a smartphone case? Or on a wristwatch? Or this guy's t-shirt? Or whatever this thing is? It's kind of weird. Darren, you start my mornings right. That was that great. Was Paridolia. <laughs> Paridolia. That took a lot of practice. Paridolia. I actually, I actually had to pull it up on that, you know, that website. You can go and type a word and it says Paridolia. It pronounces it for you. I yes. needed that. So I needed that. Paridolia. Yes. Got at least it. I hope I got it right. If you know and I got it wrong, send me an email, but I think I got it right. I thought that picture was so cool I had to share that one. Yeah, no, good guy. Good timing there. It's uh, with Halloween just behind us. It's yeah. almost 6 o'clock.